what's up? Today I'm going to show you a beautiful recipe for my baked meatballs and peppers in the oven. I'm going to start off on the stovetop and then end up going baked in the oven for a really rich and deep flavor. So, first things first, preheat your oven, 425 degrees Fahrenheit or about 220 degrees Celsius. Get that off and going. One less thing to worry about. Next, I am working with a pound and a half of lean ground beef. So that is the base for my meatballs. And now time to add or build our flavors. So using the help of my mini me here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut up one onion and actually I'm gonna let my uh, little food processor do all the work for me. Why struggle? There's no, there's no kind of real reason for it. So all I'm going to do is quarter an onion and just throw it in there. This recipe is uh, traditional flavors, but a little bit of a different method. I'm going to start off by shallow frying my meatballs in a heavy cast iron pan. And then from there, I'm going to finish them in a really uh, light but rich, deep flavored tomato sauce in the oven. Absolutely fantastic so i'm just going to do this in stages and just pulse this up just like that nothing to this you can chop your onions and everything else if you got one of these use them perfect so that's my onion done going in there perfect just like that the next thing to go in is garlic now I love using garlic, and for this recipe, for the meatballs, I'm only going to use one. That's all you need. You don't have to go crazy in terms of uh, the meatball. It will actually be there in the background. So that's that. The next thing is parsley. I love putting parsley in my meatballs. It brings out a nice flavor, and it actually um, it complements the meatball as well and of course there is no greek meatball on the planet that would be complete without mint and for this i'm just going to take my mint and just start plucking off the leaves and greeks and mint and meatballs go hand in hand let me tell you whenever you have a meatball in greece or uh kefte anything along those lines the first thing that's going to hit you is mint and that's what this is all about so i'm going to do a bunch of mint there like that i'm going to add a little bit of salt i like that graininess a little bit of fresh cracked black pepper is going to go in here as well and again i'm just going to do it up again and just let that go for just a few seconds it doesn't take long at all believe me perfect that will work for me definitely and this my friends in here is all flavor total total flavor now i'm going to throw this in here just like that along with this i'm going to crack an egg and use this as my binder and very simply just have at it just start mixing it up now time to start forming our balls for this i use a scoop an ice cream scoop and what i do is i wet it and i just take my balls and i just start forming them and you don't have to take forever for this just do it real quick what you're doing here is not forming them for for shape you're forming them for size just to get them kind of uh moving along here see how fast this is going there's really nothing to this and you can do like so many you can do like a ton of meatballs like in no time doing this method here boom just like that and why am i doing it like this because i don't want to form my meatballs as i'm frying because while they're in there, because it's shallow frying, I don't want some of them to kind of get more well done than others. Here, now, I'm going to take 
going to turn on my thing here, my element. I'm going to do here probably a solid quarter of a cup to a third of a cup, give or take. Because what's going to wind up happening is this is also going to be the base for our sauce. Now, watch what happens here. Boom. Now, roll them into little balls. Throw them in there. Roll them into little balls and just start throwing them in there. Just like that. Look at this. It's like a party in here. As my meatballs are sauteing in the pan, I'm going to start working on my second onion for the recipe, and that's for the sauce. And for this, no fancy uh, skills needed. All I'm going to do is simply slice it. Nothing complicated at all. And oh, there's that membrane, that skin part from the onion that's not that uh, fun to eat. So get rid of that and just perfect and leave that aside there. The other star of our show is I've got some previously frozen uh, red peppers, bell peppers I've had. I love them. And when they're picked and frozen right away, you can't get any fresher than that. So for this, I am using about four cups of the red peppers. You can use green peppers, yellow peppers, whatever you like is totally fine. So as our story is going, time to spruce things up. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my sliced onion and I'm just going to put it all over my meatballs. I know it's, it isn't the neatest dish, but it is going to be certainly crazy good. So, get that moving here just like that. I'm also going to take my peppers, the red peppers. I'm going to place these over there as well, along with the quintessential tomato sauce ingredient in Greeks is about... A teaspoon of cinnamon is going to go in there. And again, we're just going to work this and just give this a quick toss. Just a little, just a little moving around with your spatula. Just to get everything kind of all incorporated. Don't worry at this point, your meatballs won't fall apart. They've already had a chance to cook, which is good. And that's what I'm talking about right here. Look at this. Look at this. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And I absolutely love these one-pot meals. So that's coming. Oh, oh, I'm just feeling it right now. I'm just feeling the love right now coming out of this, this pie. Oh, jeez. So now, 12 ounces of crushed tomatoes and about a cup of water and I use the water to also clean off my pan now the last thing is my Greek oregano that isn't here hang on oh here it is this is like my spice drawer and everything in there is like crazy messy so I'm gonna take my dried oregano and I have it you know state-of-the-art sealing process an elastic band and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of oregano and even if you get some stalks in not a big deal and just some oregano over this just like that perfect you don't need a lot I'm telling you for something like this maybe maybe a teaspoon and that's it that is absolutely it now that this is coming to a nice uh, blipping boil. I'm going to pop this now into my 425 degree oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. Just let everything get incorporated and we'll be ready to serve. Right out of the oven, baby. 
Yes, indeed. My Greek meatballs, my keftedes, keftedakia, in a red pepper tomato sauce are done. It's like these, this waft, this, this, this smell of joy, utter joy. Mm. Oh, Jesus. If loving this is wrong, I don't want to be right. Let me tell you that. Just look at this. They're absolutely perfect. It's like, it's like a little casserole of happiness, a pan of happiness. That's what this is. So let me go in here. I'm going to try one of the meatballs. Because you know that's not going to be hot at all. Mm. Mm. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That is so, so good. I can just, I can't even tell you. I can't even describe the flavor. Just, it is just, it's so happy. That's what this is. It's a happy, happy dish. And God knows we all need some happiness nowadays. My friends, this is something you can make. Takes you start to finish under an hour. And you have got a stick to your ribs uber delicious meal and you know what everybody's gonna love this even the pickiest eaters are gonna love this believe me you can serve this with some fresh crusty greek bread a little dipping in the sauce serve this on a greek style rice like a, like a pilafi a pasta long or short you can do this on the pasta oh my god just thinking about that there was some kefalotiri or some mizithra or even parmesan. I get it. You may not be able to find it. That's fine. I get that. But please, you have to try this. This is so delicious. So that's it for this episode, my friends, on my Greek meatballs and peppers in the oven. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for having me uh, in your homes, your offices, your phones, wherever you got me. I appreciate being there. Hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Check me out online as well at kensgreektable.com. And until next time, I will see you on the next one. Much love to you all. Talk to you later. Bye.